Okay, guys, now we've got section three. And in section three, we've got three type of questions. <clears throat> the first type is sort of double multiple choice, where out of five options, you have to choose two options. Then after that, we have summary completion type of questions, and then we have multiple choice. So there are three types, okay? Let's take a start. Section three, questions 21 to 30, uh, choose two letters A to E. Now out of five letters, you have to choose two letters. <coughs> and what are these letters? Which two subjects did Martina like best before going to university? Now before going to university, her favorite subjects. Not after going to university, not in the university. The question is, before going to university, uh, which two subjects did Martina like? So she will talk about her favorite subjects before going to university. Now for before going to university, she might use school. She might use high school. School, high school, primary school, kindergarten, whatever. So it is going to be before university. Whatever after university, that will be a trap. Okay, now I play. They will speak about these subjects. And what are the subjects? Art, English, French, History and Science. And they will not discuss these subjects in the same order. Don't expect first Art, then English, then French. They may use any random order. You just see her favorite subject <coughs> before going to university. And I'm playing the audio for both questions together. So this time you will tell me two letters for your answer. Let's start. You will hear two students talking about their university studies. Oh, hi, George. How's it going? Hi, Martina. It's going well. How about you? How's university life? Well, it's great. Apart from the studying, of course. <laughs> yeah, me too. What are you studying? I seem to remember that you were going to do art. That was your best subject, wasn't it? No, not really. I just liked the teacher. He was French and had an amazing accent. My favourite subject was history, but I couldn't see what career that would give me. Oh, right. So what did you choose? Well, I found it really difficult to decide. I was really good at science, but I must admit, I never really enjoyed studying it. So, in the end, I decided to opt for English, which was my second favourite subject, and I thought it would be more useful to me than studying anything else. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay, notice the zigzags and all that, huh? English and history. Well done. Now, I'm going to play it again. Sorry? So no, no, science be say yeah. Yeah, I play the audio again. Don't worry. I'll prove it to you. Okay? Yeah. So, by the way, you know, guys, Martina is there in Canadian University, Australian University. You will have these type of conversations. All the things they have in IELTS, like this type of conversation, when you are going to study in a foreign country, you will have that. Now, listen. First of all, please write down some numbers. A is number one. Uh, this is the order of the audio. A is number one, C is number two, sorry, yes, yeah, C is number two, D is number three, and E is number four, and B is number five. You just write this thing. Okay, just a minute, I tell you. You just write on paper A, C, D, E, B. A for apple, C for cat, D for doctor, E for elephant, B for boy. Right now, this is the order of the audio. Now, I tell you why other answers are wrong. You will hear two students talking about their university studies. And, and try to check their greetings, how they greet and how cheerfully they talk. I mean, from listening, improve your accent, intonation, pronunciation, and then practice it. Just check how they talk. Oh, hi, George. Oh, hi. Like that, yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, George. Yeah. <laughs> it's going well. How about you? Students talking about their university studies. Oh, hi, George. How's it going? Hi, Martina. It's going well. How about you? How's university life? Well, it's great. 
Apart from the studying, of course. <laughs> yeah, me too. What are you studying? I seem to remember that you were going to do art. That was your best subject, wasn't it? No. No. Yeah, there was a question. That was your favorite subject. No. So whenever there is a question, if the answer is yes, that is the answer. If uh, that is the right option. Otherwise, if it is no, so art is gone. Now it's not art. Okay. Never try to find the answer from the question. For example. You like chicken, huh? I say, no, I'm allergic to chicken. Like that. Okay, so you need to listen to the answer. Now, please come to French. She didn't like French, but she liked French teacher. Yeah, so cute. Have you seen the movie English, Winglish? In that, there is a French student. He speaks beautiful English, yeah. Not really. I just liked the teacher. He was... Uh, I'll just go back studying i seem to remember that you were going to do art that was your best subject wasn't it no not really i just liked the teacher he was french and had an amazing accent i just liked the teacher he was french who teacher and had an amazing accent so french is not the answer they did not use french language they used french teacher right now please jump to option d my favorite subject was history my favorite subject was history that is the first right answer okay but i couldn't see what career that would give me i couldn't see what career that would give me but that is her favorite subject okay now please jump to science for uh, e option all right. All right. So what did you choose? Well, I found it really difficult to decide. I was really good at science, but I must admit, I never really enjoyed studying it. Right. I was good at science, but I never enjoyed studying it. So it means science was not her favorite subject. I never enjoyed. Never enjoyed means she did not like so E is not the right answer. Okay, now please come to option B, English. So, in the end, I decided to opt for English, which was my second favorite subject. I decided to opt for English, which was my second favorite subject. So the answer is English. Now, on your answer sheet, you will write B and D. And in any order, you can write DB or BD, both ways it's fine. Okay? And uh, whenever you write the letters, please use capital letters. Kaise? Nahi, yahan pe nahi. Not here. Not here. Okay? You can check this one. It's not like that. You change the order in multiple choice. Huh? Question. <laughs> yeah, you understand what I mean. 31, 32, 34. Order change hota hai to galat hota hai, huh? Not there. Okay? It's only for double multiple choice. Sometimes we have triple multiple choice. So in double multiple choice or triple multiple choice, you can write in any order. <coughs> but still, I advise you all to write for 21B and 22D on your answer sheet. That will be better. Okay, questions 23 to 26. Complete the summary below. Write no more than two words for each answer. Okay, now, George's experience of university Right? Now, I'm just going to read it for you. George is studying mechanical engineering, which involves several disciplines. He is finding Dash the most difficult. Very simple. There will be George, and George will say, I really have a tough time. Right? Okay, please underline most difficult. Most difficult. Underline that. And write this sentence. I am struggling with. I am struggling with. For example, if I say... Uh, he is finding French the most difficult. In the audio, George will say, I am struggling with French. I am struggling with means he's finding it most difficult. Okay? Now, I play the audio. Please focus. I am struggling with. Okay, now, one more thing. Over here in the questions, they have used third person singular. Why? George. And then they say, he is finding. But in the audio, they will be George. So, George will not say, he is finding. George will say, I am finding. Okay, so don't expect he is, because George is going to say I am. Yeah, let's go on. Um, how are you finding university? Well, it's a bit of a challenge, I suppose. Are you finding it difficult? 
Mm, well, some of it. I'm doing mechanical engineering, which is really interesting, but it covers quite a lot of areas like materials science, machine design, physics, and of course mechanics. And they're all fine, but it's maths that I'm struggling with. It's a lot harder than it was at school. It's maths that I'm struggling. And before that, is a mechanical engineering, blah 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 blah. And then he said, "It's fine. I'm playing this one again from the beginning. Please focus." What happened? Um, how are you finding university? Well, it's a bit of a challenge, I suppose. Are you finding it difficult? Mm, well, some of it. I'm doing mechanical engineering, which is really interesting, but it covers quite a lot of areas like materials science, machine design, physics, and of course mechanics. And they're all fine. And they're all fine means no issues with them. But it's maths that I'm struggling with. But it's maths that I'm struggling with. So struggling with means most difficult. Okay, let's go on. Are you enjoying? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you should enjoy. It. When I solve the tests at home, cut the audio, solve reading test. I have just like this, enjoying this thing. Yeah. Don't dance, but just yeah. Exactly. Question number twenty-four. At the moment. At the moment means present, present time. His course is mainly, now underline mainly, you know, they always trap like this, mainly. And for mainly, write nearly all. Nearly all, mainly, and the synonym for that is nearly all. So he will say, uh, at the moment, at present, my course is nearly all dash. So whatever he says after that, that will be your answer. Let's see, question number 24. But then I never was very good at mechanical things. I suppose it must involve some practical work. Well, not at the moment. Currently, it's nearly all theory, so it's a bit heavy going. Currently, it's nearly all theory, so that's why it's heavy going. Now, see, improve your vocabulary from IELTS listening. Use the word heavy going for difficult. Yeah, IELTS is heavy going nowadays or anything like that. So the answer is theory. I'm playing it again. But then I never was very good at mechanical things. I suppose it must involve some practical work. Well, not at the moment. Currently. Currently means at the moment. Very good. It's nearly all theory. It's nearly all theory. So mainly and nearly all theory. Yeah, theory. Yeah. It's theory, okay? How do you spell? Theory. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See, I mean, these things are quite... Thank you very much for my cough. Did you add the All right. That's good. Thank you very much. So, listen. Listen. There was a student of mine. I asked him to speak something about Pakistan. He said... Pakistan came into being on 14 August 1947. 14 August 1947. You know, actually, they say three things you always enjoy in your mother tongue. Number one, ginti, numbers. Number two, Ghana, songs. You enjoy songs in your mother tongue, first language. Number three, Gali, do you see the tesi? Something like that, okay? So that's why mummies also speak Punjabi when they uh, shout at their children and all that, okay? So this is very natural. But anyways, it's theory, theory. Impr through listening, improve your vocabulary, your pronunciation, demonstrate it in your speaking. IELTS is very supportive. Reading will improve your writing. Listening will improve your speaking if you focus all these things. Okay, now let's move on. Next we have question number 25. Please focus. He will soon have an assignment which involves a study of. Now underline which involves a study of. And for that they use the word working on. Which involves a study of something, working on something. Right? Sometimes these synonyms are really, really silly. 
but we have to focus, okay? So I play the audio, please listen and answer. I guess you need to start with that so that you can get a grasp of the concepts and learn a few facts before you start putting it into practice. It must be a lot different to the course that I'm taking. Yes, but in a few weeks we'll be having a lot more practical experience. In fact, I've got a great assignment this term working on jet engines, which means I'll be going on a few field trips to a nearby airport. Oh, great assignment working on jet engines. Exactly, jet engines. Yeah, not Peter engine, jet engines. I'm playing this part again. Please listen. And learn a few facts before you start putting it into practice. It must be a lot different to the course that I'm taking. Yes, but in a few weeks we'll be having a lot more practical experience. In fact, I've got a great assignment this term working on jet engines, which means I'll be going on a few field trips to a... Okay, working on jet engines. Jet is G-E-T, jet. <laughs> that is get. G-E-T... Get and J E T Jet. But but are they? You are Shakespeare. Yeah, actually, but just Shakespeare. Okay. Engine. How do you spell engine? E N G I N E. Engine. Yeah, I bought a quote from Engine last week. Let's go on. He thinks there are too many. Very simple. Underline too many. And for too many, they will say and one thing. After too many, answer will be plural. After too many, they will say many, a lot of, several, various, variety of, any word like that. And then the plural word will be your answer. Okay, I'm playing it again. Uh, sorry, I'm playing it first time. Yeah. It sounds like you're going to be very busy. Yes, I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with the work. We have a lot of lectures and that's fine. The lecturers are very knowledgeable and I learn a lot from them. But we also have a lot of seminars, and I find with so many people expressing their views, it can get quite frustrating. Okay, now they use the word lectures. I'm sorry, I didn't read the question completely. After so many or too many they've written and would like less of them, means he doesn't like them. There is something, so many, but he doesn't like that. For lectures, he said, they are fine. So the answer is... Seminars. Now, please listen again. He says there are so many of them. It sounds like you're going to be very busy. Yes, I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with the work. We have a lot of lectures, and that's fine. The lecturers have... Okay, we have lots of lectures, but that's fine. Means he's got no issues with them very knowledgeable, knowledgeable and I learn a lot from them but we also have a lot of seminars and I find with so many people expressing their views it can get quite frustrating it can get quite frustrating so seminars <coughs> and would like less of them so it would be better if we didn't have so now he says this it would be better if we didn't have so many of those so many of those those means Seminars, absolutely. This is called referencing. Okay, let's go on. Questions 27 to 30. Now we have multiple choice and there are four multiple choice questions. And thank goodness options are short. Question number 27. Martina thinks the students at her university are. Martina thinks students at her university are. Option A, duffer. Option B, silly. Option C, stupid. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. So this is Martina's opinion about the students in her university. Sociable. Please now focus. For sociable, they use the word friendly. They use the word outgoing. They use the word extrovert. Sociable. Means who mix up with others. Intelligent. For intelligent, they can use the word sharp or... Extra mind. Huh? Extra Ignore him. All right. That's not right. <laughs> And C, energetic. For energetic, they might use enthusiast or enthusiastic or any other word. So Martina thinks the students at a university are. Now please listen and answer. Um, 
How are the students at your place? Well, I haven't really met anyone yet. They all seem a bit quiet. Perhaps they're working hard.、Mm. They don't appear to be very studious here, but they are very friendly. I must say, I've been doing a lot of sitting around and chatting over the last week or so. <laughs> well, that's good. Sociable? No. Exactly. That's right. Now, please write there C B A. C B A. This is the order in which they speak. So I'm playing it again. In actual exam, it sounds not, like. In actual exam, they will not play the audio again. Um. How are the students at your place? Well, I haven't really met anyone yet. They all seem a bit quiet. Perhaps they're working hard.、Mm. They don't appear to be very studious here. They don't appear to be very studious here. Now, what is the word for studious? Intel. Studious? Yeah. If someone is studious, is energetic. That's right. Okay. But they are very friendly.、Yeah. I must say, I've been doing a lot of sitting around and chatting over the last week or so. Yes,、yeah, sitting <laughs> well, around、good. and chatting, and they are very friendly. So that is sociable. Sitting around and chatting, sociable. So A is the right answer. I think for intelligent, they didn't say anything. Maybe yeah, that was in the beginning. They said about the other ones. Okay, now let's move on. Question number twenty-eight. George hopes that his tutor will help him. George hopes that his tutor will help him with something out of three. Lose his shyness. Now, if he says, "I will work on it myself," but what I expect from my tutor to help me with something, right? Option B: Settle into university. Settling down means in the first month and all that. Option C: Get to know his subject. Bet、uh, get to know his subject better. Now let's see. George hopes that his tutor will help him. With other two things, he doesn't need help from tutor. He can manage it himself, or someone else will do it. With one thing, he expects. For hopes, they might use the word expect. He expects that tutor will help him with that. So let's see what that is. The only person I've spoken to really is my tutor. He's very approachable. And seems to understand how difficult it can be starting university. Hmm, it's good to have someone you can talk to, and he may help you meet other students. Actually, that doesn't bother me. I'm bound to get to know some people sooner or later. It's more a question of finding out what I need to do, where to go, and so on. What I need to do, where to go, and so on. What is that? That is settling into the university. That is option B. Okay. Now I'll play this again from the beginning. The only person. I okay. The order in which they speak that is A C B. I guess. Let's see. I've no. It's A.、Uh, I stopped the audio. I'm going to play it again. Spoken to really is my tutor. He's very approachable. And seems to understand how difficult it can be starting university. Hmm. It's good to have someone you can talk to, and he may help you meet other students. Actually, that doesn't bother me. He may help you meet other students. Maybe lose his shyness, right? So he says, actually, that doesn't bother me. So it's not that. Yeah. I'm bound to get to know some people sooner or later. That's option C. I'm bound to get to know some people sooner or later. So he doesn't need help with that. It's more a question of finding out what I need to do, where to go, and so on. I hope he can help me with that. Oh, I, hope he I can would have thought so. So what I need to do, where I can go, so that is settling into university. Clear? Now let's go on. Question number twenty-nine. What does Martina know about her first assignment? She's got her first assignment. What does she know? Now the things she don't, she doesn't know. That is the trap. And the thing she knows, only one thing out of three she knows. क्या उसको पता है? That'll be the answer. So number one topic. See, don't read article. The topic, the length. Simply read topic, length, deadline. If she knows the topic, 
right? Then A is not the answer. If she knows the length, B is not the answer. If she doesn't know, sorry, what does uh, Martina know? Sorry. So uh, if what she knows or what she doesn't know, if she doesn't know the topic, right? If she doesn't know the length, so that cannot be the answer. And if she knows the deadline or anything, that will be the answer. So let's see. Well, we certainly have a lot of work ahead of us. It seems like a long time, doesn't it? Studying for three years. <laughs> yes, it does. But I'm sure it'll go quickly. You know, I'm really dreading the first assessment. Yes. For the course I'm doing, we have to hand our first one in at the end of next month. Really? So, have you got the topic yet? No, but we'll get it soon. I'm not sure how much we have to write yet. Not too much, I hope. Mm, I know what you mean. So, it's... Sorry? Absolutely. Let, let's see, let's focus the question. What does Martina know about her first assignment? The right answer is C, deadline. And the order in which they spoke, that is C, A, B. Please write it down. I'm playing it again. Well, we certainly have a lot of work ahead of us. It seems like a long time, doesn't it? Studying for three years. <laughs> yes, it does. But I'm sure it'll go quickly. You know, I'm really dreading the first assessment. Yes. For the course I'm doing, we have to hand our first one in at the end of next month. We have to hand first one in the end of next month. So it's actually the deadline she knows. What does Martina know about her first assignment? Deadline, end of next month. Now please come to option A. Really? So... Have you got the topic yet? No. Have you got the topic yet? No. So she doesn't know the topic. A is the wrong answer. But we'll get it soon. We'll get it soon. But she doesn't know the topic. Now come to length. The right yet. Not too much, I hope. Really? Yeah. So have you got the topic yet? No. But we'll get it soon. I'm not sure how much we have to write yet. I'm not sure how much we have to write. That is length. How much we have to write. So I'm not sure means she doesn't know. What she knows is only the deadline. Clear? Let's go on. Question number 30. George would like to live. Now a place. <coughs> Option A. Hall of Residence. Hall of Residence is hostel. In the university, there is Hall of Residence. If you go to Punjab University, they have Hall 1, Hall 2. It's a hall of residence. So, George would like to live. Would like to live means he is living somewhere or he used to live somewhere. That will not be the answer. The answer is where he would like to live. Uh, option B, flat on his own. For flat, they might use the word apartment. I would like to rent my own apartment like that. And option C, with the host family. Sometimes, you know, they have the paying guests with the family. English families and all that. So now, please listen. George would like to live. And it's hard to study, especially where I am now. Oh, where are you living? I'm living in a hall of residence. I thought that would be a good idea, as there'd be a lot of people around. But I'm finding it a bit noisy. I can see that I'm going to have problems when I really need to get down to some work. So, I guess you need to be somewhere on your own then? Yes. Well, I do like to have some people around me, so I'd prefer to live with a family somewhere, in a house not too far from the university. Well, good luck with that. Yes, thanks. And good luck to you as well. Option? C. Very good. And the order in which they spoke, that is A, B, C. All clear? All right. Thank you.